This is about the second visit of the chairman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency to the president after the official launch of the war against drug abuse in June 2021. Since the NDLEA boss assumed office in January 2021, the agency appears to have significantly clipped the wings of drug barons, revealing 10.6 million cannabis users in the country. The implications are profound, and so, according to him, no lawmaker should ever support legalizing cannabis. I don't see how the National Assembly will pass the act, because I know um, 90 percent or more of uh, the honorable and distinguished members of the National Assembly know the implications of this legalization and they dare not go back to their constituencies if anyone signs uh, legalization. Ramping up the fight, drugs worth over 100 billion naira have been seized and 1,630 criminals jailed. Considering the hazardous nature of the work that we do, the danger in it, we arrest and jail the criminals and then live among them. This is an area that I found His Excellency Mr. President was very well seized of. Therefore, we expect barracks in all the locations um, that, that, that we uh, are serving. So throughout the country, um, but the budgetary provisions is something that I will not comment on at this point. Another kind of war, this time on insurgency, has led to yet another trip to the State House by the governor of Borno State, Babagana Zulum. <laughs> The chairman, Senate Committee on Army, Senator Ali Ndume, who also met with the president on the issue of insecurity, dismissed any attempt to outrightly forgive the surrendered bandits without proper investigation. The lawmaker insists on applying the carrot and stick approach in the war against insurgency. While we are prosecuting the war rigorously in order to bring it to an end, a window is there available to tell those that are willing to surrender that you can surrender and then you'll be processed accordingly. Conversely, those found innocent among the bandits should be given the right to approach the courts and possible molds within the surrendered bandits will be fished out. Now we understand that over 5,000 bandits have surrendered currently to the army and that list continues to grow given by what we understand that more bandits have surrendered across states. But there are questions as to whether or not there are strategies in place by the federal and state governments to profile them and subsequently prosecute. These are questions considered germane to sustaining the war against insurgency. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News. Thank <music> you.